Hello everyone out there in YouTube land, welcome back to Diego Knows. I of course am Diego, and today we're going to talk more about Black Adam. That's right, Black Adam, that wonderful movie uh, that came out uh, last week. Last week, it's still out in the theaters right now. It's, it's, it's doing blockbusters over there. I mean, they're making a shitload of money. Uh, it's doing a lot better than everyone thought. The critics hate it, but the audience seems to love it. They got to give it a 90%. Critics gave it a 40%. Uh, well, we know why that is. Okay, the critics gave it a bad score because it doesn't align with their politics. Okay, uh, it's not about whether the movie's good or not. It's about does it send the right message? Is the message what, what, what they want? You know, and these uh, critics out there know damn well they give it a bad review. They're not going to get invited to premieres. They're not going to get access uh, to to celebrities. They're not going to go to the right part. They're not going to get invited to the right parties. You know, uh, they're going to lose a lot of shit. You know, free stuff, giveaways. You know, T-shirts and shit. You know, they're not going to get that stuff if they give the movie a bad review. So, uh, so it's, it is in the best interests of the critics uh, to give uh, the big corporate movies uh, positive. They're not the low budget movies, then they give a fuck. All right, uh, uh, but the big budget movie, Hollywood movies, yeah, uh, you have to give it a good review or else uh, you know you're uh, you're going to get blacklisted as a critic. Okay, the critics are in the pockets of the corporations. They're in the pockets of the studios. Okay, it's been that way for a very long time. All right, so that's why. That's why you're not going to get an honest uh, opinion on Rotten Tomatoes uh, as far as uh, if the movie's good or not. All right, uh, when it comes to the big budget movies. All right. Uh, however, uh, the audience, the fans, do decide these things. Okay, and uh, whether the movie's successful or not, it depends on whether the people that actually spent their money to go see it did they like it? Did they tell their friends? Did they go and see it again? Okay, I already tell, I've already watched Black Adam twice. I've gone to the theater twice. Took my son both times. It's a good movie. Uh, it's refreshing. It's not the best superhero movie I've made, I've ever seen. I've seen a lot of superhero movies. It's not the best. Uh, far from it. Uh, but it's not a terrible movie either. Okay, uh, I think it, it's a passable movie. It had some good action scenes in there. You know, check your brain at the door. It had some good action scenes. You know, uh, the, obviously uh, Dwayne Johnson is a very very charming uh, actor. Okay, uh, he gets a lot of movie roles. You know, uh, he's in this one without Kevin Hart for a change. Holy shit. Kevin Hart's not in this one, you know, because um, that's usually his sidekick, his partner uh, in these fucking movies that he makes. Um, but uh, he's very, um, you know, uh, he, he's very, uh, he's, he's very stoic in this movie, okay? Uh, and he has very little bits of levity in there, okay? Or, or where he gets personal, you know? But basically, he's like this fucking alpha male, you know, pr with a purpose, you know? And you would think upon upon watching him, but based on the things that he says, that he's evil. But he's actually not. He says he's evil, but he's actually not. He's not evil at all. He doesn't act evil. Yeah, he kills a bunch of fucking evil people, but he doesn't kill any of the good guys, and we don't know why. He doesn't explain it. You know, we just notice that when he punches a bad guy, uh, his fist goes through the guy's face. I mean, right through his head and kills him. But when he punches a good guy, they just, oh, you're going to pay for that. You know, it's like that. It's like, what the fuck? You know, when he explodes, you know, he kills the bad guys immediately blow up too. But when he explodes in front of the good guys, they're just, Ugh, they're just knocked back. Like, oh, damn, that hurt. You know, and then they get back up again. But like, come on, this is this is, you know, uh, it keeps it keeps thinking about. I keep thinking about the Transformers. Okay, when I was a kid, I used to watch the cartoon, the Transformers. Now they're robots. Okay, so you can shoot their arms off; they're not going to die. Okay, they just get repaired. Okay, so we would see a lot of that in the, in the Transformers cartoon. They would get shot. You know, the good guys, the bad guys would get shot by a laser. Okay, they get injured. Maybe their body parts would get blown off. But, you know, they had they had mechanics there that would fix them up and they were good as new. Well, that's because they're robots. You can get away with that. Okay. But like on, uh, you know, on G.I. Joe, uh, which was all human beings, you know, uh, whenever they got shot at, they always missed. Uh, the only time they were, the only time that anyone ever landed a direct blow, a uh, shot uh, from a laser gun. These weren't real guns; they were laser guns. Uh, was when they were shooting a robot. When they shot a robot, it blew up. Ugh, you know, uh, but whenever they shot a bad guy, they always shot the gun out of their hand. But they never actually shot the guy, the person. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, shit like that. All right. So, um, for some stupid ass reason, whenever uh, he hit, he hits the good guys. Uh, they're okay, but whenever he hits the bad guys, they die immediately. So I, it makes no fucking sense. Go figure. All right. <clears throat> so anyway, I'm Diego, and I'm going to talk to you about Black Adam, okay? I don't remember what part this is. Was it part nine, maybe? I don't fucking know. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to take as many videos as it takes to get through the movie, okay? I got a lot to say. Okay, I'm going to discuss Black Adam, uh, the movie, and I'm going to discuss um, some other stuff you might not know about it. All right? I'm a big comic book fan. I know a lot about comic books. I know a lot about Black Adam. He's one of my favorite characters. Okay, and I can prove it. Look at this. Okay, why would I have this here? I've had this thing for fucking for years. You know why? Because I've been a big fan of Black Adam. 
all right? Big fan, I love that character. Okay, he works better as a bad guy, not as an anti-hero, which is what this movie did. Now, DC Comics, all, all superhero movies really in general, have been having this problem lately, okay? Is they tell us it's the bad guy when it's really not. They did this to Venom, they did this to Suicide Squad, and now they're doing it to Black Adam, okay? Or Morbius as well. Uh, Morbius was a villain, he was a reluctant villain, he didn't like being a villain, but he couldn't help that he had to kill people to didn't drink their blood, he needed to. He didn't want to, but he had to. It's kind of like the Wolfman type thing. Like, he knows he's sick. You know he kills people, but he can't stop it. You know, he, he tries to stop it, but he can't. All right? Well, the thing with Black Adam is in the comic books, Black Adam is an evil fucking motherfucker. He's evil. All right? He tries to kill a Captain Marvel. He tries to kill his whole family. He tries to take over the world. Okay? And now he's trying to... He's, he's taking over his own country, which they want him to. And he protects his country. And if anyone gets in the way, whether it be a bad guy, another bad guy, or whether it's a good guy, if they try to fucking uh, get in his way, he will kill them. That's what he does. Okay, he'll give them, if it's a good guy, he'll give them a warning. Hey, listen, you invade my country, I'm going to kill you. And if they do it, he will kill them. Doesn't matter if they're a good guy. Doesn't matter if they're kids. Doesn't matter if they're, you know, whatever. He doesn't care. That's Black Adam. Okay, he's a cold-hearted motherfucker. That's why he works so well as a villain. He's got his, his moments of being a nice guy, but it only goes so far, you know? He'll try being a nice guy, but his natural instinct is just to fucking kill anybody that gets in his way. That's, that's who he is. This movie does not do that. This movie just, he only kills the bad guys. Uh, he doesn't kill the good guys. He hurts them, but he doesn't like maim them or anything like he does with the bad guys, you know. So it's just like, okay, come on, dude. You're not, you're not selling me that you're evil. You're telling me that you're an evil fucker, but you're not. Same thing in the Suicide Squad. <clears throat> if you remember that movie, the one from 2016, even, even the one from last year. I mean, with all the bad guys, the only bad guys that were on that team died immediately. Like fucking, like Slipknot, he died right away, okay. Who were the bad guys on that team? The Joker, but he gets away, right? We don't see him again. Harley Quinn is not really, I mean, she's evil, but I mean, she, she's not responsible for her actions. She was in an abusive relationship. The Joker manipulated her. She was never not a bad person until she met him. It's all his fault. And any innocent people that, that she killed, that we know she did, but we didn't see it in the movie. Okay, any innocent people that she killed, it was the Joker's fault. He manipulated her. He's the one responsible, not her. She's not responsible for her actions. Okay, it was the Joker that made her do it. It was the Joker that manipulated her uh, into doing all those horrible things. You see what I mean? So she's not really the villain. A villain. Okay, Deadshot, Will Smith's character. Yeah, he's an assassin. He kills people. The only time we ever see him kill anybody for money, he kills a fucking snitch from the mafia who's, who's obviously evil himself. So you don't, you don't feel any fucking sympathy. That's bullshit. And, and, we, and, and they, they, they hide, they, they downplay the fact that he kills people for money and they upplay uh, the fact that he's a loving father and he cares so much about his little girl. If you care so much about a little girl, why the fuck are you killing people for money? Okay. Why the fuck are you killing people for money, okay? In the comic books, he killed innocent people for money, too. He killed little kids. He killed parents. He killed relatives. He, he didn't, didn't fucking... Yeah, he loved his daughter. That part was true, okay? But that's not going to stop him from killing a fucking little kid if he's paid enough money to do it, okay? That, that's the truth. That, that's who Deadshot is. He's a cold-blooded fucking asshole. He's a selfish asshole. He loves his daughter, but that doesn't mean he's a good person. You see what I mean? This movie makes you look like he's a good person, just had a good dad. He just happens to be an assassin, you know? But it's okay. He only kills bad guys. He doesn't kill women and children. What the fuck? Women can't be bad guys? What the fuck? You know? Shit like that. It really pisses me off, okay? Uh, a Diablo. That fucker, dude. Yeah, he killed his family. He burned his family to death. But it was an accident. He didn't do it on purpose. He lost his temper. He didn't mean to do it. He felt bad about it. He's not really evil. Okay, you see what I mean? Killer Croc, yeah, he eats people, but he only eats the. We only see him eat people that abuse him, that mistreat him, that make fun of him. Okay, then he eats them. Okay, but if you're nice to him, he's nice to you. He just wants to watch BET. You see, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, even, even Captain Boomerang, what the fuck, dude? He feel, we see him kill somebody, but it's his own partner. It's his own uh, fucking bank robbing partner. Okay, he just wanted he wanted to take his partner's take as well, so he killed him so he could get his half of the loot that they were stealing. And then the Flash showed up and he goes to jail. Okay, so yeah, he's a bad guy. He kills somebody, but he only kills someone who was just as evil as he is. So, I mean, you, yeah, he's a bad guy for stealing, but that doesn't make him a fucking a horrible person. Hell, he likes fucking unicorns. You see what I mean? That's what I'm talking about. And the other characters in Suicide Squad, uh, you know, Rick Flagg is a good guy. Katana is a good guy. So what the fuck? These aren't real villains. You know, a real villain will fucking just kill you no matter what. They're only they're only serving Amanda Waller because they have to, because their fucking head will explode if they don't. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, Venom. See, Venom was a bad guy. He killed people. He killed innocent people all the fucking time. But he became so popular in the comic books, they decided to make him an anti hero That way, they could sell comic books of Venom, and they can't do it. This guy fucking kills little kids and women. So what they did is they made oh, he's only gonna kill bad guys now. You know, like he's a fucking bad guy. But what about Spider-Man? He wants to kill Spider-Man. Well, they're going to have an agreement where he's not going to hunt Spider-Man anymore uh, because of uh, reasons. 
Okay, bull fucking shit. That, that fucking shit makes no sense. All right, and that's what they're doing here. They're making Black Adam a fucking anti-hero. That's not—he's not a fucking anti-hero. I don't give a shit how how he, he does this all the time. You know, he does that a lot. He sneers a lot. Like he does that a lot in the movie. You know, I kill people. He does, but he's not evil. So what the fuck? You're, you're not fucking fooling anybody. You can look as angry as you want. You're, you're, you're only killing bad guys. So it's like that makes you a good guy. What, look, at, look at Dexter. That show Dexter? That motherfucker, uh, he was a serial killer that killed serial killers. That makes him a good guy. Oh, well. So anyway, where we left off last time is he fought the Justice Society of America. They show there's only four members. Uh, in the comic books, there's like fucking, what, 12 members. <clears throat> this movie, we only get four of them. We get Hawkman, who's the leader, played by Aldous Hodge. You get uh, Dr. Fate, who's cool as fuck. He's like the DC Comics version of Dr. Strange. He's played by Pierce Bronson. Yeah, 007 himself. Okay, and then you get some fucking nobody uh, to play fucking Adam Smasher, who, uh, who is, the, is the grandson of fucking Fonzie from Happy Days. I guess that's the original Adam. And then you get some pixie girl who's white in the comic books with red hair, ginger. But now she's a black girl, but she's still a ginger. Okay, um, and she plays Cyclone, who's got fucking wind powers. But she's also got genius IQ, and she's a pretty girl. She's a pretty girl, but see, they're young. Her and Adam Smasher are pretty young. They're probably 20 years old, 19, 21, something like that, all right? Whereas Hawkman's in his 30s, and, and, and Dr. Faith clearly in his 60s, okay? Uh, so they go there in, in Hawkman's hawk, Hawkmobile, his hawk ship, okay? It's shaped like a hawk. It's made of nth metal, which means it's indestructible. They go to Kandak, that's where Black Adam was awakened, okay? And uh, they fight him. He defeats all of them, so he uh, doesn't kill any of them. Go figure. Even though they're they're actively attacking him, uh, he does not kill any of them. He, he knocks one out. He knocks Adam out, but he wakes up right away. He doesn't hurt Cyclone at all, really. I mean, he does this blast which knocks everybody down, but they, they're not knocked unconscious. They get right back up. You know, the only one gets knocked unconscious is Adam Smasher. That's because Black Adam punched him again like, in the face. Okay, he got knocked out, knocked over a statue, then he wakes up again and he's, he's fine. Okay, so there's no real, no real injuries here. Unlike the bad guys, he tore their arms off. He, he put grenades in their mouth. He set them all on fire. He electrocuted them. You know, he, he fucking did all these horrible things to the bad guys. You know, cut them in half. You know, he did all sorts of shit. But with the good guys, now nah, he just knocked them down. They get right back up. And he doesn't, he doesn't continue to try to kill them. <clears throat> okay, so he knocked them all down. They try to regroup. Uh, Dr. Fate tells Hawkman, hey, we can't fight this guy. We're, we're not gonna fight. We're not gonna go after him. <laughs> this guy's too strong. I was wrong. He's too strong. We can't fight him. <laughs> well, Hawkman ain't gonna give up. He's not the kind of guy that gives up. He's very, uh, they're focused on his mission. He's like, no, you know, we're gonna do this. <laughs> so anyway, they get distracted, uh, by a side plot about the, the crown of Sabak. That's the MacGuffin in this movie. That's the, that's the object everyone in this movie is trying to get. It's made of Eternium, some bullshit fucking, uh, science fiction metal. <laughs> Uh, but this beautiful uh, Kandaki woman named Adriana Tomas, she's middle-aged, single mom, yeah, because that's what's important, right? Uh, she's raising her kid by herself because single moms rule. They're better than have, actually having two parents, okay? <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, so she's actually got the crown. She found it in the cave when she awoke Black Adam, and her gang wants it. The bad guys want it. That's why they're hunting her down, okay? Well, uh, Black Adam flees away. He flies over to this temple uh, where there's a statue, uh, whatever, of a guy that looks a lot like him. Uh, you know, so he flies away to the temple. And uh, they decide to try to talk him down. Uh, they try to tell her, hey, listen, you, you need to, you need to uh, help us uh, uh, defeat Black Adam. She's like, no, he's our liberator. He saved all of us from inner gang. You fuckers haven't done a goddamn thing. We've been, we've been, under, their, we've been under their thumb for 27 years. Uh, they've been in control here. You know, these foreign invaders. You know, and you have never fucking showed up until fucking today. Okay, and you only showed up to, to grab our fucking liberator now that he's free. You know, you want us to turn him over to you. Fuck you. Okay, he's our, he's our champion. Not yours. You know, he's the only one here that's been helping us. That's going to help us. <laughs> so, no, we're not going to help you take him down. <laughs> and, all, and all the people in Kandak, and by the country Kandak, I mean this little fucking town. Okay, that, that whole country comprises this little fucking town. <laughs> well, it's got a town square. Okay, okay. <laughs> they, got, they got subway there. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, so uh, they go to the temple to try. She, uh, uh, she agrees to, to help them try to convince him to surrender. Okay, so she goes to the temple first to talk to him. He's floating in the air. You know, he doesn't stand on the ground. He floats in the air. That's his natural state. They didn't get that right from the comic books. Black Adam considers himself above uh, mere mortals. He considers himself a god since he has the powers of the gods. He considers himself a god. Therefore, uh, gods do not fucking stand up. 
Okay, they don't stand on the ground and look. They float in the air and look down. That way they're always above everybody. That way they can always look down at everybody instead of looking at them, you know, uh, vertically, you know, or horizontally, you know. So anyway, so she goes there, okay. They agree to go to the temple to talk to Black Adam. She goes first, of course, because he kind of has a good thing with her. She sa He saved her life. Uh, when he freed her, he killed all the fucking gang members that were attacking him, but not her. He fucking saved her. There was a boulder going to fall on her. He blasted the boulder, so he saved her. And I didn't know why he did that. Like, how would he fucking know she's not one of the bad guys? Like, how would he know that? Well, we find out it's because that she's the one that released He knows that she's the one that released him from his 5,000-year uh, uh, prison that he was in. Okay, so that's why he saved her. Okay. So they all agree to go to talk to Black Adam, okay? He's floating, uh, looking at the stone statue uh, that looks a lot like him, bald-headed guy with a big lightning bolt on his chest, okay? Uh, Adriana tells him uh, that she knows the truth about what he did because Hawkman spilled the beans and said, like, this guy's not a hero. He's not a champion. He's actually a bad guy. He killed a lot of people before he was imprisoned uh, in that tomb that you released him from, okay? You know? So she says, like, oh, I know that you're not, you're not the hero, you're not the champion, uh, that you, uh, you were actually a bad guy, and that uh, the, where I released you, the, temp, the, the, the cavern that I released you from was not uh, your tomb, it was your prison, wasn't it? You know, he's, he's like, yeah, it was, you know? She knows the truth about what he did, okay? Uh, that he exacted revenge on the temple, okay? Um, and he blew up uh, King Actum. Okay, that was the ruler of Kandak 5,000 years ago. That's the guy that uh, he, he was forcing all, all of his subjects to dig for the Eternium metal, uh, including uh, Teth Adam, okay, and his son. And so they were going to kill his son because he tried to start a revolt, tried to inspire the, the, all the other slaves to revolt. Uh, so they were about to execute him. Instead, he, he, he was immediately transported to the mysterious cavern by the wizards. Okay, the six wizards of, I don't know what the fuck they're wizards of. Okay, I don't even know who the fuck they are. Okay, but they decided they were going to bestow him with the power of Shazam, the power of six uh, uh, Egyptian gods. Because remember, this is before, this is 5,000 years before Greek mythology. All right, and that's what they did. Okay, now we were meant to, made to believe in this movie that the kid, uh, uh, Death Adam's son, was actually the one who becomes Black Adam. Uh, but it's not, and we find it's it, Harut is his name. It's not. But the, right now, this scene makes you think that it is. Okay, so uh, that's what she says. Like, that's what happened, you know. Uh, she tells him that, you know, that, uh, you know, you blew up King Actum uh, uh, and the whole temple, including all the people that were in the temple. Okay, and the Council of Six Wizards, uh, they tried to fix the mistake they made. Okay, they regretted giving you the powers, and then they tried to take the powers away, and they couldn't. And you fought back, you fought them, you fought back against them, okay. Uh, and uh, and we see this, we see that scene. We see Black Adam fighting the wizards. It only lasts for a few seconds. You really got to pay attention to find out what's going on. There were six wizards. Each wizard has a different color scheme. Okay, one's blue, one's green, one's yellow, one's red. Uh, the wizard that we know about, the one that showed up in the Shazam movie, that's the wizard Shazam. He is one of those six wizards that is actively fighting Black Adam. They're trying to take away his powers. They can't do it. So instead, they decide to imprison him. Uh, imprison him. Okay, so all the wizards are fighting him. He's actually killing all the wizards. You, you actually watch him kill all the wizards. Okay, with his lightning powers. He kills all of them. All right? Uh, uh, but sh not Shazam. Shazam does not get killed. Shazam is the last wizard, and he's the last one standing. And he succeeds in imprisoning Black Adam into his fucking tomb for 5,000 years. Okay, that's why Black Adam was imprisoned, okay, in that, in that, uh, in that cave. It was because of the wizard Shazam. The same wizard that gave Billy Batson his powers and turned him into the superhero Captain Marvel. Yes, his name's Captain Marvel, not Shazam. That's the name of the wizard. That's the name of the word that they use, all right, that, that, that Captain Marvel and Black Adam used to transform, okay? So we see that happen. He murders the other wizards except for Shazam. Shazam is the one who, who surrounds him in this red energy and he fucking imprisons him, okay? And we see that part, okay? Okay, uh, so they imprisoned Black Adam. Adri Adriana says, uh, it wasn't your tomb that I uh, opened, was it? It was your prison. Black Adam says, I never said I was a hero. I never claimed to be anything. Adriana says, well, you can be a hero now. You know, and then he looks at the statue, which looks like him. Ball-headed guy with a big lightning bolt on his chest, you know. Um, and he says, like, I will hear them out. But if they choose to fight, then they choose to die. You ain't gonna fucking kill him. You could have killed him easily already. You fought all of them. You beat them all up. You could have easily killed all of them, but you didn't. Okay, so don't give me this bullshit. You'll kill them. You're not gonna fucking kill them. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. All right. 
So uh, Amon comes home. Okay, that's the kid. That's the teenage kid. He's 13 or 14 years old. That's Adriana's son. Okay, Amon. He's uh, he's he's this big fucking comic book nerd. He loves comic books. He's got pictures of superheroes, DC superheroes, not Marvel, all over his room. He's the one. He's the basically the John Connor from Terminator 2. Okay, they're trying to make this dynamic in the movie where you got the big, older, tough guy, middle-aged guy, and then you got the fucking teenage kid, and the teenage kid is trying to teach this fucking stoic, tough guy with superpowers uh, how to be cool, uh, how to use the right vernacular, uh, catchphrases, you know, shit like that. The Asa La Vista baby uh, shit. That's what they're doing here in this movie. Okay, instead of Asa La Vista, uh, Amon says, uh, fucking, um, uh, tell him the man, man in black sent you, okay? Which is obviously is an homage to fucking Johnny Cash. But uh, what the fuck, man? So, so they're going with that plot line in this movie, okay? A complete obvious ripoff. But you gotta be my age to get it. <laughs> okay, so that's going on. Um, he gets home. His uncle Kareem, that's the fat fuck. Uh, I guess he lives there with them. Adriana is, is uh, Amon's mom. That's the woman that was talking to Black Adam, okay? Well, her brother, I guess, lives with them. He's a, some fat fuck, but he's a nice guy, okay? And he's there in the kitchen, and Amon gets home all excited about Black Adam, you know? And Ishmael is there. Now, we thought Ishmael died. They thought Ishmael died, okay, in, in the cave-in when they released Black Adam. But no, he, did, he survived. In fact, we find out that Ishmael, uh, who was partners with uh, Adriana, uh, to go into the tomb and, and, and release and find the helmet of Sabak, the crown of Sabak, he's actually one of the leaders of Intergang, one of the leaders of the bad guys that have taken over this country. Okay, so that's why he wants that. The, he wants the crown of Sabak for himself, for his own sinister reasons. He was never one of the good guys. He was faking it. Adriana did not know that. All right, but and, and so that's why when Amon greets him, like, oh my God, oh, you're dead. I'm glad to see you're alive. That kind of shit. And of course, uh, Ismail is like, where is the, where is the crown of the back? You know that kind of shit. You know, and, and his uncle tries to play it off. He's like, oh yeah, it's not here, is it, Amon? It's it, it's a lot of it. It wouldn't be here, would it, Amon? It's not here. It's not here. You know, like like, like that. You know, uh, but the, the ruse is up. He pull, uh, uh, Ismail pulls out a gun and threatens them. All right, he's like. Um, you know, uh, he wants the crown, okay? Uh, Amon, uh, Amon runs away, and, and Kareem actually does something heroic. He jumps on Ismail, and they fight. They fight while uh, Amon runs away with the crown in his backpack, okay? During this little tussle, uh, Kareem gets shot in the stomach. Cool. All right, he sh Ismail shoots Kareem in the stomach. But it doesn't fucking matter. He'll be back on his feet fucking in a few hours. Uh, but anyway, so he, he shoots him in the stomach, so he collapses. Uh, he, uh, Ismail chases uh, Amon into his room. Now, we saw earlier in the movie that Amon has a secret passageway in his room that leads into the hallway out, uh, hallway of the fucking the apartment building that they're living in. Okay, it's a chute that he has. Okay, it's how he sneaks out of his room uh, without going through the front door. Okay, uh, and that's what he does here. Okay, he sneaks through the chute. The chute's too small for a fucking, uh, for a grown man to fit through. So Ismail's like, shit. Okay, so he realizes that, that uh, Amon is outside somewhere in the stairway. So he's got to go there. Okay, to get him. Okay, so he goes there, uh, runs away, Kareem fights Ismail, blah, blah, blah. Okay, orders an attack. Uh, Ismail gets on his fucking uh, radio and he orders an attack into the apartment building. Okay, because uh, he wants that crown. And the kid's got it. All right, well, uh, the, the Justice Society, uh, they, they arrive at the temple. They're not at the apartment building. They arrive at the temple now. Now that Adriana has talked to fucking Black Adam, he's agreed to meet with them. Uh, they show up. Okay, so we've got Hawkman. Uh, we've got uh, Dr. Fate. Uh, you've got uh, the pixie fucking cyclone, and you got the fucking uh, incel uh, fucking um, Adam Smasher. Now, this thing really pissed me off, okay? They're trying to add levity here. Obviously, Adam Smasher, uh, despite the fact that he can grow to 60 feet tall with super strength, he's actually uh, the beta male in this movie. He has no fucking self-confidence. He has no, uh, no anything, no masculinity at all. Okay, uh, and he's standing there, okay, at this meeting. They're trying to talk at Black Adam down into surrendering, okay? They don't realize, uh, or they're not acting like this man could kill them in one fucking second. He could easily kill all of them, okay? But the fucking Adam Smash is standing there, okay, with a bucket of fucking KFC while Hawkman is trying to convince Black Adam to surrender, okay? Fucking Adam Smash is standing there with some fucking KFC and just munching away. Like his life is not in fucking peril. Okay, like this fucker didn't just fucking knock him out while he was 60 feet tall. That's how powerful he is. Okay, uh, he's just staying chilling. He was, and I guess he's got the munchies, right? He reminds me of fucking Han from those goddamn fucking Fast and the Furious movies. You remember Han on Fast and the Furious? Remember he's always fucking stuff in his fucking face in every fucking scene he's in? He's always got food. They're being chased by fucking terrorists and he's in the car. Every fucking scene. Well, that's what this reminded me of. Okay, it's distracting, it's fucking annoying. <clears throat> and Dr. Fate just looks and goes, come on. 
and he makes the fucking bucket of chicken disappear. All right, because it was annoying. It really was. It was stupid. Uh, I don't know why they put it in there. I mean, this Adam Smasher is a nothing character. I don't know why they want to fucking flesh him out. But anyway, <clears throat> like I said, you already got a character that that's charming and likable. You don't need to fucking add these other fucking quirky uh, people into this fucking movie. All right. So that's there. Okay, they go up there. They start talking to uh, Black Adam. They want him to surrender, of course. Okay. Um, like I said, uh, uh, Black Adam says, like you know. Uh, uh, Peaceful and no surrender. I want you to know we would like for you uh, to give a, to give a, a peaceful surrender. You know, uh, we would like a peaceful. You're a peaceful surrender. Black M says I am not peaceful, and I do not surrender. It is you who are not supposed to be here. Leave Kandak now and never return. Of course, he's floating in the air, talking down to them when he says this. All right, Hogman says. Gladly, we will gladly leave Kandak and never return when you come with us as our prisoner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and of course they taunt each other. And Black Adam's like, how about I just pluck those wings off of you? I would like to see you try. Yeah, so they're just, it's a schlong toss now, okay? <laughs> they both like to fight. And that is accurate from the comic books. They do both like love to fight. Okay, Hawkman uh, loves to fight. He's always ready for a fight. Even, even uh, uh, an opponent that's a lot more powerful than him, he still wants to fight, okay? They got that right from the comic books. Like I said, uh, uh, Aldous Hodge, he, he acts like Hawkman in this movie. He does. He acts just like Hawkman, uh, but he doesn't look like Hawkman because Hawkman is white. All right. Uh, so they taunt each other into a fight. Uh, meanwhile, Amon calls on his cell phone. He calls his mom, Adriana, who's there at the temple, and tells her uh, that Ismail is actually a traitor. He's actually working with the inner gang. He's probably the one that set up the ambush in the cave, okay? And that he's already fucking uh, attacked the, the apartment. He's already hurt uh, his uncle Kareem, and now he's coming for him because he's got the, the crown of Sabak, all right? Uh, so now she's fucking flipping out. Oh my God, he's after my son! And Hawkman's like, you know, Dr. Face is like, they don't want your son, they want the crown of Sabak. You know? Uh, so she begs Black Adam uh, to go save her son. Please, please, I need you to be a hero now. Please, go save my son. So uh, Black Adam flies away. Okay? Uh, meanwhile, Amon makes it to the, uh, makes a daring escape uh, out of the apartment building. Okay? But uh, when he's try trying to get out of there, all of a sudden the inner gang shows up and they're in their flying motorcycles this time that we saw earlier in the movie. All right, yeah, how the fuck do they get motorcycles that fly? I don't fucking know. Okay, uh, but Black Adam uh, shows up, and of course, that makes Amon smile. Oh, Black Adam's here, he's gonna save me. And Black Adam tells him, um, they, gra they grab the kid, Inter one of the members of the Intergram, they grab Amon. Okay, Black Adam shows up and tells him, release the child. Okay, and they're like, poor choice of words. And they throw the child, they drop the child. Okay, so of course, Black Adam has to swoop down to save the kid, okay, to catch him. Okay, Amon says like, be more careful with your, cho with your word choices next time. You know, uh, me, he, uh, and then well, Black Adam flies away to fight the, the inner gang guys in the motorcycles. Meanwhile, Ismail shows up after Black Adam flies away with a gun and points it right at fucking uh, Amon and takes him prisoner as a hostage. Okay, so we see that. Now Black Adam's up there. He's, uh, he's got one of the, he killed one inner gang guy. He's about to kill the other one up in the air. And then he looks down. He sees uh, Amon's uh, backpack, his school backpack on the floor. So he realizes that Amon did not get away, even though he just saw him a second ago. Uh, he must be captured, all right? And he sees a fucking, uh, another, another inner gang motorcycle guy fly away, so he chases him. He, ch he figures that Amon is inside that motorcycle, all right? So he chases him. He forgets the fact that he's really holding an inner gang member in his hand, okay? He just flies away while he's holding this guy. And the guy's like pleading for his life, hey, let me go, let me go. And he says like, and Black Adam looks down at him, he's like, huh? Oh, oh yeah, you. He's like, yeah, you. You better choice of words. And he lets the guy go. Okay. And of course, the guy falls down to his death. All right. He has no problem killing the bad guys. The good guys that he he lets them live for some fucking reason. <clears throat> All right. So that's going on. Okay. Uh, yeah. The flying inner gang guy grabs him. His mother takes the costume. Blah blah. Um, Black Adam chases the fucking uh, the motorcycle, the flying motorcycles. Okay, um, he drops that guy, like I said. Okay, he says, uh, better be more careful with your... Uh, now, when he says that, better be more careful with your wish for, the guy's already dead. 
Okay, the guy's already dead, so he didn't get to finish the sentence. Okay, so that's kind of like like a joke, like a running joke. Like you're supposed to make the, say the catchphrase before you kill the guy. All right. Uh, so Black Adam chases that that speeding uh, flying biker. Uh, there's two of them. Okay, he thinks that Amon is in one of them, one of the bikes. Okay, he's looking for Amon. Uh, Black Adam kills them one by one. Okay, uh, without even thinking twice about it. Okay, while looking for Amon. All right. And then you have bikes, bicycles, these flying bikes are crashing into buildings left and right, causing fires, causing property damage, you know. Uh, Hawkman also arrives, okay, he shows up there, okay, and he's also looking, but he's got the infrared vision, he can see through the, the bikes to see if there's a human being trapped inside one of the bikes, okay. Um, and Black Adam knocks Hawkman away. Hawkman's flying next to them, they're parallel to each other, flying, okay. And Hawkman's like, you're murdering people! And Black Adam's like, well, how else, how else do you expect me to find a child? He's like, I can help you, but no more killings. Black Adam's like, I don't need your help. Okay, so that's going on here. Okay, they're having an argument <laughs> over that. Yeah, Hawkman's very, very stoic as far as the uh, no murdering people. He's, he's a hero in that sense. Like, we don't kill people. Heroes don't kill people. You're over here killing people. That's the biggest beef he has with Black Adam. Okay, is that he's over here killing all these people. All right, he's basically like Rick Flag was in Suicide Squad. The way he was talking to to um, Will Smith's character, uh, Floyd Lawton, Deadshot. Yeah. Basically, you're, 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 you're a murderer, you're a serial killer who takes credit cards. You know, that kind of thing. That's basically what Hawkman's telling Black Adam, okay? Uh, meanwhile, Cyclone and Adam Smasher, they have to jump out of the Hawk plane and help out, okay? <laughs> so, so they jump out, okay? Uh, but, he, um, but of course, uh, uh, Cyclone can jump out because you know, she, can, she can fly because she controls wind. Uh, but Adam Smasher's scared to death. He's like, oh my God, we're too high in the air. I can't do it. Oh my God. I <laughs> I, well, I was like close to the ground when I jumped off last time. So fucking, of course, he's emasculated. He's a fucking beta male pussy. So of course, Cyclone kicks him out of the ship. Kicks him out of the ship. That's how he gets out of the ship. He's too pussy to jump. All right. And then Cyclone follows afterwards. Okay. Uh, she throws him out. Uh, he's screaming all like the fucking pussy that he is. All right. All the way down. Okay. Um, now, meanwhile, uh, during the chase that's going on here, uh, when he finally, you know, he grows big. He lands. He stands up, okay, and he almost, almost hit Black Adam. Black Adam flew right away from his hand. Now, Black Adam was coming from behind, he didn't see him. And of course, uh, Black, uh, uh, Adam Smasher looks at Black Adam and goes, hey, be careful next time, I could have hit you. And then with his hand, he fucking slaps Hawkman, he wasn't looking. So Hawk, ugh, Hawkman goes down, all right? And of course, here we go again. He's like, oh, oh God, I'm so sorry. Oh my God, I didn't mean to do that. You know, that peripheral vision. I got no peripheral vision. This mask that I got, you know, it was, you know, it's my, it's my grandfather's mask, you know, and he never figured out a way for me to be able to see. You know. And Hawkman's just like, me and you. Me and you. Yeah, again, again, yeah, it's a running joke in this movie, all right? Me and you. Even though fucking Adam Smasher is 60 fucking feet tall, he's still pussying out in front of Hawkman. Oh, well. <clears throat> Okay, so uh, anyway, Black Adam kills more Intergram members, okay, uh, during the chase, all right? Now, this is going to end this video right now. I will be back soon to continue my review of the Black Adam movie from 2022. Thank you for watching this line. I'll see you soon on the next one. Bye.